Welcome back to another walk around and test drive at Coyote Classics. I'm Dalton. My father Chad's not here today, so we got the next best thing. My little brother Brady's gonna be helping us out as we check out this 1972 Plymouth Scamp. Beautiful little car. It's got uh, dual exhaust with mufflers. Really straight and nice body. And I like this green. When I took pictures of it yesterday, it was kind of cloudy, but uh, especially out in the sun, it's got a beautiful, um, kind of metallic to it, like a limelight green. Under the hood is a 318. Uh, does not have power brakes, four wheel drum, but they have a nice pedal, they stop good. Does have power steering. And uh, looks like it was a factory air car, still has the compressor, hoses, belt. Um, you know, so we'll check and see if that's, uh, if that's working, but it is all complete. Does have manifolds. Uh, the backup 318 is the numbers matching 904A, three-speed automatic transmission. I'd classify this car as just a nice local car show quality car, cruise night car. Not a trailer queen, but uh, definitely gonna draw some eyeballs and, and uh, something you can be proud of. Still has the fender tag there. Bottom side of the hood paint does have some chips. You can tell it's a little bit older. Front bumper looks great. Looks like that was re-chromed. Grill's in nice shape. You have a small chip there um, up front by the, by the headlight. Really nice hood gap. And you can see right here too, you know, the, the paint quality is really nice. It's got a lot of nice metallic in it. It was painted well, but it was done some years ago. So as we go around it, you know, there'll be some little chips and perfections that we'll point out. But overall, yeah. you know, really nice car. They are. Hood gap looks good. Sits down in there just a skosh, but door lines up great. Couple small little rock chips, just stuff like that we'll talk about. But uh, really solid. Go to their website, coyoteclassics.com. Check out the undercarriage pictures. Good solid Mopar underneath. It's got the black vinyl top, the rear uh, black tail stripe. Vinyl top's in good shape. You always want to look right in here for, for bubbles or imperfections in the vinyl top. This one doesn't have any on the passenger side. We'll check out the driver's side here in a few minutes. A couple uh, speakers in the back package tray. Rear quarter's really nice and straight. Door fits good. Do have a couple of paint imperfections down here. And uh, every old car, is gonna have problems no matter how nice. It's gonna have some chips or some imperfections or something that doesn't work. You know, that just kind of comes along with the old cars. You know, if you want something that that uh, is 100% reliable and everything works, don't buy an old car because even the nice ones are gonna have issues. But um, but that's what makes them fun, right? Door jam paint looks good. Corner of the door is rust free. Uh, rubbers are nice and pliable. I like the green on green on green. Usually I'm not a fan of it, but on this car it just fits. You know, it's a it's Good greens, both exterior and interior. Wood grain uh, trim of the door panel looks good. Dash looks really nice. Interior looks good. I'm guessing it's been recovered at some point. Just looks too nice to be original. Front and back seats are good. The headliner, um, it's one of those molded headliners like they had. Um, and it does have a few little scuffs, stuff like that, but overall in good shape. Dome light works. Doors open and close good as well. Do you want to grab the keys, open the trunk? Yeah. Trunk lid lines up good. Back bumper looks good. As I mentioned, it's got uh, dual exhaust with mufflers. I like how the chrome tips come out and it looks like it has uh, air shocks <clears throat> on it as well. Like I said in the beginning, older paint, but still has a good look. And uh, it's good and solid, which is Hard to find mm -hmm. in a Mopar. Mm -hmm. You know, like these factory seam lines here, no one's ever filled them in with, with Bondo. So, trunk lid, got the stickers, paint there looks uh, looks nice. Looks like original quarters, you can still see the stamp stamping there. Like I said, even though the paint was done a while ago, when they did it, they did a good job, jammed everything. Um, just a nice, got the spare and jack. Driver's side's nice and straight as well. And 
and like this one, whenever a car still has a piece of the numbers matching drivetrain, like this one having the numbers matching transmission, just kind of tells you a lot about it. You know, probably wasn't a junkyard car that somebody restored, especially with gaps like this mm -hmm. and numbers matching tranny. Door fits good, bottom of the door looks nice. Probably the biggest um, small little chip there. And probably the biggest imperfections at some point, you know, maybe ran into a dumpster or something, see that it got scraped a little bit here, but um, you know, somebody straightened that out. A couple little chips there. But it's just a cute little car. I like the red uh, raised white letter tires too. Yep. Again, door panel looks good. You got a little wear on the armrest uh, base there. Corner of the door's rust free. Here's your sticker. Bottom side of the door looks good. This is pretty cool too. It comes with a 74. Little wiring diagram. Mm -hmm. Nice to have in an old car. There's your hood release that I took five minutes to find the other day. Seat's in good shape. Dome light works. I don't know really what else to say about the old girl. This is a good car. Uh, we'll take her for a spin and see how it goes down the road. Dash pad's in good shape. VIN number on these is right here. With every car we get, we bring them in, they go through our check-in process, um, fix a lot of things, diagnose a lot of things. And then once they sell, they go back through our shop um, for fixing kind of the remainder of things. And once they sell, they go back through our shop to uh, give a final once over fix kind of the remainder of things. Um, there's a few things on this scamp that we have to do yet. Um, let's see. So the fan works for the heat and AC. As I said, the AC is complete, um, but I don't know if it's blowing cold or not yet. It does have a radio added down here. And that works, sounds good. Um, on this car yet, the horn is not working. Um, something we gotta look at a lot of times with these, like factory wheels, if the relay and stuff's missing, what we can do is we'll add a little horn button here underneath the dash, that way you have it if you ever wanna honk it. Um, you know, versus putting an aftermarket steering wheel on there. Um, gas gauge right now is not working, speedometer does work, um, temp gauge, on our drive, we'll, we'll see, but it looks like the alternator gauge working, and uh, I believe the temp gauge works too. Wipers work. That Camaro will be checking out here after we get done doing the video on the scam. So gauges, you have temp, gas, and alternator, and then light is, oil pressure is a light in the dash. And not gonna be no powerhouse with a 318, but just a nice cruiser. Here's your brakes, as I mentioned. Non-power, but you got a really nice pedal, and they stop nice and straight. Speedometer that works. Looks like your temp gauge is coming up, so that appears to be working. I left all my windows down, um, so that's the wind noise, but goes down the road good. Suspension feels good going over the bump there on the bridge. It says we're doing uh, 60 miles an hour right now. Cruises down the road nice. Front end's nice and tight. Out across the hood's beautiful. Ruby mirror looks new, that's nice and tight. These 
our brakes again here at high speeds. Nice pedal and they stop good. Especially on a little car like this, you don't need, you know, you don't necessarily need power brakes, especially if the drums are, are done well. You still have a nice pedal, they stop good, and, and you're not stopping a real heavy car. So um, back in the day when a lot of people ordered these cars, they didn't want to pay the extra $80 or $50, whatever it was for, for power brakes. Same goes for AC, that's usually a pretty rare option, because a lot of times, you know, guys don't want to spend that extra money. Really nice, smooth shift. I think it's got like 273 rear end gears um, is what the guys found on our, our check-in sheet. So just a really nice highway gear. Not gonna win you a drag race, but going down the highway, you know, once you get to speed, it's, it's fast as hell. Um, just nice for highway cruising, 70 miles an hour. The fun car to drive. So just ready to take to your next uh, local car show cruise night. Whatever you want to do with it, the old scamp will, the old scamp will do it. If you like the car, make sure you check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com, for more pictures, information, and undercarriage pictures. Uh, if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.